Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at radiopreppers.com. Look at this solar flare. Amazing. It can wreak havoc on communications, but it's not as bad as a coronal mass ejection, uh, like the one that happened in uh, 1859 and uh, set fire to a few telegraph stations. Because it creates uh, an electromagnetic pulse, EMP. If something like this happened today, it would destroy every single electronic device we own. What else would do this? A nuclear explosion, especially if it's at high altitude. It would destroy the power grid, and it probably wouldn't be fixed for a decade at least. Power lines act like big antennas, and anything plugged in will be destroyed. Same thing happens with uh, lightning, by the way, so uh, it, you're not only protecting yourself against uh, an EMP. Uh, lightning is actually uh, as likely. So what's the solution? Metal cans. Paint cans, ammo boxes, trash cans, anything made of metal. Because they, uh, they make a Faraday cage, so uh, in this image, for instance, the uh, people are protected from the high voltage uh, from the Tesla coil uh, by a metal cage. Personally, I like uh, cookie jars, because I get to eat the cookies, of course. <laughs> uh, I also like tea, so uh, for my Weber MTR, for instance, I use a tea can. Uh, one thing to do, uh, which is a good idea, doesn't protect against EMPs uh, necessarily, is to uh, use BNC caps on your uh, antenna connectors. Those caps are very cheap. Uh, you find them on eBay and uh, they uh, short uh, the antenna connector. So make sure that uh, you, you don't only protect your radios, but uh, your other devices uh, like chargers. Uh, Maybe a pocket calculator, a multimeter, uh, multimeter. Uh, even flashlights today have uh, electronics in them. So you could lose uh, a lot more than you think. And, uh, well, that's about it, really. Uh, some people suggest that you ground your Faraday cages, uh, but uh, that's probably not always a good idea because uh, well, if uh, your uh, Faraday cage is on the ground and you have a short wire going to ground, then that's probably a good idea. If you're on a second floor and you have a long wire going down to the ground, that's going to act as an antenna. So probably not the best idea. Make sure that uh, your devices are isolated from the inside of the can. So I suggest you put them into a cardboard box, for instance, or a plastic bag. Uh, another device that I protect uh, is my solar panel, USB charging solar panel. I just put tin foil around it because there are no metal. There's no metal protruding on the outside of the, uh, the solar panel. Now, solar cells uh, shouldn't be uh, subject to uh, such a high risk from uh, an EMP, but uh, a lot of them have their solar charge controllers built in, so uh, that would be destroyed. So I use tin foil, and uh, well, I hope it would. Uh, I hope it's going to work, and theoretically, uh, it should work. So that's it, guys. Uh, make sure you protect your radios. Always have at least one or two uh, in a metal can, well protected, and uh, that could definitely uh, <laughs> save you a lot of trouble. And that's it for today. Have a good one.